guys, today we will be learning how we can upload an image uh, to a server using API. Now, in the last tutorial, in one of the last tutorials, we learned how we can take image from the camera. So a lot of people asked me how to do this. So here we are. So this will be a quick one. So let's get started immediately. First of all, I'm using Retrofit uh, as the library. Uh, so you can add this. Retrofit. This is the Retrofit library. Now you can also use Volley, but uh, if you use Volley, you'll have to do a lot of stuff manually. So, you know, I prefer doing it using Retrofit. Now I've used this converter as I expect the response in JSON, and using this converter, uh, JSON converter will automatically map it to the corresponding classes. All right. So after you have added these two dependencies and sync the project, uh, let's just go to your main thing and create a network client. Now let me delete this so we can be all together in this. So first right click, create a new Java class, let's call it network client. And now we are creating this network client because we want the retrofit instance to be uh, you know singular throughout the whole app. We don't want a different instance to be created whenever we want uh, to create a network call. So let's say private static retrofit and let's create a public static method that will return a retrofit it will return a retrofit instance and let's call it get retrofit okay let's call it this and and first we will create OK HTTP client because net uh, Wally uses OK HTTP client as its underlying uh, client to create network calls and uh, retrofit handles all the you know application level stuff like mapping it to your classes conversion and stuff okay. it's just okay http client dot the builder dot build and now let's create our retrofit instance Oh yeah, and we also need a base URL. So base URL is like, let's say, the API that you want to call is just a minute. Let's say the API that you want to call is dot abc dot com slash upload image. Now, if this is the full URL, base URL is the first part of the URL uh, with the with the slash at the end. So we we'll just remove this. Now this is the base URL, and then we add a converter factory. We will use JSON converter factory as we expect the response in JSON. And what else do we need? We also need yeah we need a HTTP client so. Let's just create the client that we had created above, and we are done. We can just call build. All right, now we have initialized our retrofit instance, and now. We will check if this certificate instance is, is null in the beginning so that it is not initialized every time we call this get instance, sorry, get retrofit method. So, and then we will return retrofit. Alright, so now this is ready. Just a moment, I'm getting a call. I'll just, you know, mute it for you guys and let's finish this first. Alright, now our network client is created. Now let's move on to. We will move on. We, want, we will create an interface that has the the last part, the upload part, so that we we in retrofit we call all the APIs using those interfaces. So let's create a new interface. Where is it? How do you create an interface? Uh, I just create a Java class. And okay, so here it is. Let's just call it upload APIs. Uh, 
and in this now since we are uploading an image and it can be it can be of uh, any size we use multipart data type so first we use we will write multipart and then we will write post now here is where you define the endpoint uh, what that we had defined there earlier the last part of this URL so it is what was it it was let's say upload all right so let's create a method and this is the method that we will use to uh, actually upload the image so let's call it upload image and as parameters it will take part of the image part boy dot part part and let's just say we will also need some other data uh, with it uh, let's call it new uh, or you know some data some data and it is of type request body all right so now our method is ready now we will we just need to use call this method and our image will be uploaded so let's create a new activity uh, this is the activity where we will upload the image and let's just call it main activity as we have all come to learn all right now it will extend app compare activity and to override a method you just enter control o this is a nifty little shortcut and type on create override it and let's just say create a method upload image let's create this method and in this method uh, we will do our actual uploading code so let's say there's a uh, image in a file uh, so let let the file path be I don't know let's just leave it empty for now because it does not matter and we will create a file from this path now see I'm doing this just to show you guys how to upload the image if you want to know how you can get the actual file path here uh, from the gallery or from the camera please check out the previous tutorial that I have done uh, on how to take the image I'll just drop the link below in the description uh, for now let's move on now we have the file now we need to convert this file into different parts so first of all let's just create a request body dot create and we need to define the media type and the media type for image is image uh, slash asterisk just uh, any type of image and here we have passed the file the image file now this is the request body now we use to now we need to convert this request body into uh, sorry divide this request body into different parts so we define part part equals to how did we do it let me just check it uh, what was it so it's like you have to create it from file so you create from data and uh, this name is uh, what the server is expecting us as the key where this image will be sent so let's say the server expects it in new image and that's just it we just pass request body here I think that's it oh it's not so it is expecting a string and we are passing it a request body now so if you want to check the parameters oh so this is not the file it's actually uh, actually the file name so we can just do file dot get name and then here we pass the request body all right so now our paths are ready let's just see parts and we also need another request body because see as you can see we have this thing here uh, it's some date let's say some data uh, we need to pass something to see some data so we will create another request body for it or let's just call it some data 
and the sum data is the media type is just text slash plain if I'm not getting it wrong and this is a new image so this is just some other data to pass all along with the image and now we have our things ready so we just get our retrofit thing retrofit client equals to network dot get retrofit so now we have our retrofit and now we just do what Okay, so we initialize a call variable and here here we do so first of all we need to initialize this upload APIs. This is how you can uh, initialize this thing, and here uh, in the call, we just call the API that we had created in this upload API, and we call this upload image. And as parameters, we, par we pass uh, what were we expect in first is parts, so we just pass parts to it, and the second is request body, and that is some data. All right, so now our call is ready, so we just enqueue the call dot enqueue and we initialize a new callback here so whatever callback is received we receive it in here and on response now since our uh, converter factory is JSON converter factory so we will be expecting a JSON here all right this is it guys I think this is pretty simple so to go over it again uh, let's just say first we add this dependency of retrofit and then we create a network client so that we have uh, a singular instance of retrofit all over the app and in this get retrofit if the retrofit is null we initialize it if not we don't initialize it and then we pass this retrofit instance to wherever uh, it is called from so for in our main activity we do this here where is it mm -hmm. right here you can move it to the beginning so that it is easier all right now now this is the file that we need to upload and we get it get this from the file path and to see how you can get the file path of the image that you've taken or from the gallery you just check out the tutorial in the description below and then we initialize the network uh, client sorry and here we define the request body of type image and uh, pass file to it and then we pass and then we uh, divide the file into multiple parts so that it can be transmitted through the network and then this is additional data it can be anything you know additional data and now this is the key name that the server is expecting it will expect the image to be uploaded into this uh, however it handles this thing and upload API and then we initialize this upload APIs using this retrofit.create and then we in define a call of this upload image thing this is call and finally we just enqueue it and our images should be uploaded and we get the response here so this is it it was pretty quick I think uh, not uh, complex if you have any uh, problems just ask them in the comment section below or I also have a retrofit tutorial uh, like a basic retrofit tutorial a basic retrofit tutorial so you can also check it out I'll just drop that link in the description below too all right till next time see you peace uh, and don't forget to like or subscribe if you think this video is of any value to you thanks